Okay, I'm going to do this video a little bit backwards. We'll start at the primary suite, as we call it these days. This is ginormous, 21 feet across there. Got some nice neighbors. Street backs up. Um, a couple of these windows are fogged out. Probably the gaskets done, so gonna be not gonna affect the usefulness of them, but just the look of it. So you may want to do that. A little squeaky spot in here. It sounds like they didn't. Where is that? Somewhere. Um, just not one area. It sounds like they needed to screw that floorboards back down. Good size suite in here. Dual sinks. Everything's really clean. Um, for this part, have it jacuzzi tub. Shower's in the process of getting cleaned. Um, that probably needs to be stripped and regrouted, or you know, I don't know, maybe they take the whole thing out. Vanity. Really nice size closet. This area is super cool. Good sized loft. I'm the restroom. Oh yeah, okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So we got some moisture in here. We'd obviously want to have George take a look at that. Probably that was leaking. So we'll get that. It's the other bedroom. Thank you so much for pointing it out. Appreciate it. This space is the front of the house. And all these walls almost look like they're freshly painted, except for this room for some reason. And I don't see paint marks on the carpet or anything, so I don't think for as a little bit beat as some of the stuff is in the house, um, I didn't get painted. It's good, you know, I mean, it to come out eventually. I didn't mention before, probably all the carpet needs to come out. Um, this is a Jack and Jill bedroom bath combo. Lots of storage. Like even the handrails are like really in good shape for the rest of the house being a little bit dirty. This is usually a little coat closet. I'm gonna put these racks in there, but you can easily knock that out. Your formal living room here. Uh, if you don't like the separation, you want one big open room. I've seen people delete those. I'm not sure if those are load bearing or not, but maybe they have run that header across there if so. How it looks like it's in good shape, probably original. This is a good size room. Pretty formal dining. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, about thirteen. In this room here. He's into a little butler butler area. Kitchen, again, the vinyl is, is probably original, um, as well as the appliances. The cooktop's good shape, except for these rings. Need to get trashed. 
Lots of storage. Sink can probably be cleaned up. Nice size family room. Plenty of room for a nice large TV. Got the guest powder room. Sink, toilet, a little extra under the stairs storage. And here's the bath shower. Feeds this room. All these rooms, the spare rooms are like 11 by 11 or so, so a little bigger than, than uh, standard. This is plumb for a sink. Most of these ones have sinks in them that I've seen. We've got a three car tandem garage. Uh, water heater is probably original, so plan on that, although that could be a home warranty. You can see it's a little, that score mark there would be usually about the depth of the normal, so you get about another foot and a half. Ceilings are really tall, so you can do shelving. There's a drop down shelving in there. Okay, I'm gonna take you out back. Backyard's pretty beat, but it's got a lot of potential there. We have the gardener coming tomorrow. And super private. That enables a single story. These guys are pushed back a little bit. They've got a pool on that side. So, super nice. Like I said, a few of these windows are gonna be fogged like these. You can tell it didn't bother these guys too much. A lot of people see them when they're vacant, think they're gonna replace them right away, and never do. I got two in my house for five years. Uh, a lot of houses in this neighborhood have pools, so this yard is big enough to get a pool. You just get some ideas, vinyl fencing, block wall, so fencing's in good shape. Original HVACs. Nice thing is you got two units, but you're gonna have to plan on putting some money into those this side the rest of the house looks trash but um, down low they didn't put any cement or anything initially and so whenever people don't put grass or anything the water as soon as it rains runs off the roof splashes the mud up on the stucco and that's where you get that staining so you could probably fog this side without having to repaint it because the front of the house looks really nice same thing. A lot of this stuff that's probably showing in video is just like spider webs. Good power wash will take care of a lot of that. Same thing if you're going to fog that side, you can probably fog this side. These little garden boxes are always a bad idea, especially without gutters. Because they always leak down like that. He's inside his side yard. I mean, you're just gonna put trash cans and stuff here. Not a real lot of stuff you can do with that. House faces west, so you would get right now. It is just after noon, so afternoon you get some shade because this house is pretty tall. That's where your fridge goes. Yeah. As I mentioned, the paint, if you like this kind of soft, pale blue, um, works well depending on what kind of flooring you would put in. So just that one bedroom needs to be touched up. The rest of it almost looks like it's brand new. All, all the white, I don't see it. Well, as I speak, right there is about the only place that I see any scuff marks on the 
baseboards or anything. Take these cars with these guys. The lawn needs some water. Everybody else's lawns are nice. So most of the time when they put these in, they use the same grass. So I always, you know, you always tell when you look in the neighborhood, if you're like my neighborhood, they use the same grass. And in the winter, or I'm sorry, the summer it goes um, in the kind of hibernation. So no matter how much water you put on it, they all look like trash. Pardon all the trash cans, obviously it's trash day. But I mean, curb appeal, front of the house looks fantastic. It's due pretty much all of this neighborhood. I drove all these streets. Everybody looks really good. You are gonna have a lot of cars because you know we got big houses. It is a Monday, but the kids aren't in school yet, so a lot of these are probably kid cars. Um, but nice and quiet. Good view of the hills. All right, there you have it.